three dimensional geometry in this lesson you are going to use a cuboid to illustrate the concept of angle between a line and a plane so you're going to use this cuboid and you're going to use uh, a b c d as our base so we're going to begin with uh, drawing this diagonal a g is the diagonal of face a b g h so let us draw this diagonal diagonal a g so that is our diagonal a g there are several questions that we are going to ask ourselves here and one name the projection of ag on abcd name the projection of ag on abcd so in simpler terms what do you mean by projection I want us to use another term that you can be able to understand projection is the same as the shadow so what is the shadow of ag what is the shadow of ag on plane a b c d on this plane that is shaded here so what is the shadow that is what you mean by projection so the projection will be a b so you can see that uh if you are if you draw this uh diagonal a g and you want to get the shadow on this uh, shaded plane here that will be our shadow a b and that is what uh, we call our projection so the projection um of ag on abcd is ab so this one ag is our line and abcd is our plane so this is the line this is the plane so the next thing I want us to do is now to get the angle between the line and the plane and this one is our line the angle between ag and plane abcd so how do you go about that so name the angle between ag and abcd that is the angle between a line and a plane so for us to get this what we do to get the angle between the line and the plane we do get the angle between that line that is ag and its projection on this plane and we found our projection to be ab so therefore the angle will be the angle that uh, we are looking for is the angle between this line AG and its projection. The angle that is between those two lines. And this is the angle. Uh, angle GAB or angle BAG. So that is how we get the angle between a line and the plane. That is the angle between that line and its projection. So we started by getting the projection of AG on ABCD. And we got the projection as AB. And these are lines. So the angle that you're looking for is that angle that is between there. So that is our angle. So that is the angle between uh, that line and that plane. So you're going to label that angle uh, for clear look. So that is the angle. So that will be the angle between that line and the plane. So let's have another um, example. Look at HC. Let's draw HC. HC, we want to get. Uh, the projection name the projection of hc onto plane abcd so you say the projection you treat projection as the shadow so what is the shadow of hc on the plane abcd the plane that is shaded there at the bottom so automatically uh, that one will be given as ac this is ac so the shadow will be here ac so let me draw that uh, Projection. So that is the projection, the projection of HC on the base of the plane ABCD. So the next thing that you want to do is now to get the angle between this line HC and plane ABCD. So how do we get uh, that angle? We said the angle will be given by the angle between that line and its projection. So it will be the angle between HC and AC. And that angle is HCA or ACH. So, so the next thing is um, we just said name the angle between HC and plane ABCD, and you see that the angle will be ACH. That is the angle between that line and the projection. So simply that is how we get the angle between a line and.